Hey now, so I am still way desperate to get to these 4,000 hours. So I thought I'd show off a little bit more of my man cave and stuff I've collected and give you a little history about a couple of the pieces. So what I'm going to show off in a minute is, let's see if I have 5, 10, 40 signed baseballs. And so lately, when I say lately, since day one when I've been doing this, I've been collecting signed baseballs. And... I get them in person whenever possible. And I just think they present nice, the new baseballs. I, I try to avoid when I buy older stuff, vintage baseballs, because obviously baseballs rarely, if ever, are dated. So without any further ado, I have like one, two, five full cabinets of signed baseballs. I'm going to show you, though, my favorite of the signed baseballs and maybe if there is a little bit of history of how I got them. So here we go. I'm going to flip the camera around here right now if I can. And won't let me. Oh, my goodness. So, the first one we have right here is the David Ortiz signed 500 baseball. Honestly, this is a pandemic pickup. It has the Ortiz and the MLB, if you can see that, yep, signed. The stickers on it, which are important to me, because uh, those are first-person authentication as opposed to third-person authentication, which is obviously going to indicate that it wasn't signed in front of somebody that is reputable. Uh, moving on here, this is a Jose Altuve baseball. Uh, I actually met Jose Altuve. I did a, I collect credit card points. And they had a, United had a thing for like 25,000 points. They brought you on the field to meet a random Astro. They wouldn't tell you who it was going to be. And it happened to be Jose Altuve. So we got to meet him. I got a picture with him. That was really cool. Uh, right next to him, this is Alex Bregman signed baseball. Uh, the unique thing about this baseball, uh, it should have. Oh, yeah, there it is. So you can see there's an MLB logo. Now, MLB certified, what that's going to tell you about this baseball is the fact that that ball is from his very first game that he got a hit, which was in uh, Detroit. It was also happened to be my daughter's first game. So I bought a baseball from the game. Uh, I just got lucky to have a Bregman's first game. And when I got the Altuve ball right here, I got Bregman to sign this baseball. I asked him to put first hit on the baseball. He wouldn't do that. It's like his agent wouldn't let him. Uh, moving on here, Carlos Correa. Again, I got this the same day. I got the, uh, yeah, there's no, I got it in person, so you're not going to see any authentication on it. But I know it's real. Same day I got the Bregman. Uh, Correa came over and signed as well. And that's it right there. Uh, Bryce Harper. This is a real interesting story. This is a vintage Bryce Harper. This was when he was in single A. I got him to sign this. Uh, I flew to Greensboro, believe it or not, to get his autograph. I thought, ooh, he's single A. Kid of the future. He's going to do real well. I uh, had some vacation time. And so I went to get his autograph on this ball. Now, this is a national signed baseball, inaugural baseball. And also on the ball, who I also flew to get, but is uh, Steven Strasburg. Now, these were both very high-end prospects but Strasburg just because of injuries or whatever he never panned out whereas Bryce Harper I would argue is on Hall of Fame path uh, right above that is Sammy Sosa again this is another private signing yeah let's see what kind of stickers on there it's the JSA in the witness whatever they do signing I'm not real proud of it. I got it through uh, SI King I'm not saying he's a bad guy SI King but he says everything is gem minted I don't know if you could tell or not it's kind of sloppy, the ball. I'm not a real fan of it. Uh, right next to that is Paul Goldschmidt. Pandemic pickup. 100 bucks. Fanatic sticker. MLB sticker. I'd love to get MLB stickers on the baseballs again because it's first party authenticated, not third party authenticated. Right next to him, the man who came in second for the MVP this year, his teammate, Nolan Arenado. Again, another yet pandemic pickup, but MLB certified. Uh, again, another of his teammates last year. This is uh, yeah, obviously Yadier Molina. He's got a pretty bad autograph. I got him at the Cardinals winter warm-up when COVID hit. I mean, it was right before COVID shut everything down in March. I got him in January. I flew out to St. Louis. I asked him if he would sign his full name, Yadier Molina. He did. There's our baseballs out there. They're very rare. He laughed at me and said no. I think this is a little bit nicer of a signature of his, but again, it's just, he's so it's not a nice signature, but it's it's him. I saw him sign it in person. Uh, speaking of bad signatures, right next to him is Manny Ramirez. 
Manny did the 2000, I want to say 18 National in Chicago. I got him. I don't know what year he was in an ass. He didn't want to sign. He didn't want to be there. I would be shocked, even if some miracle he got in the Hall of Fame, if we ever see him at another public signing. Right above that is Max Scherzer. This was signed at DC Sports locally when he was still a Tiger. The thing about this is, I mean, he was running through him. I think there were, it was $50 to get him. This was before he wanted to Cy Young with the Tigers and became obviously now a future Hall of Famer. This is a paid signing autograph. Next to them, Derek Jeter. I got this in person. He came in, I want to say 2017 for the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Uh, as soon as the doors opened, he was like right there doing an interview and he signed some balls right after. I actually got two of his autographs. Obviously, this one's bleeding kind. Not kind of. This is bleeding. So it's not the nicest of the ones. I still don't want to sell it because, again, it's an in-person Derek Jeter. I thought about giving it away, but it's still too valuable. Uh, right next to this, this is an interesting story. And, yes, this is the 2001 Rookies of the Year and future Hall of Famers Ichiro and Pujols right above it. Uh, the Ichiro story is kind of interesting. It has the Ichiro sticker right below it. So I ordered a... $15 Miguel Cabrera autograph, Mill for Mill Creek. And Mill Creek sent me the, uh, instead of sending me the Miguel Cabrera autograph, which I got, which I did get, they also sent me $1,500 at the time's worth of autographs, just out of the blue. It wasn't meant for me. I remember there was like a Nolan Ryan, Cliff Lee, Bo Jackson, just a tons of like a huge autograph. It was meant for mile high auctions. Somehow it came to me. I called Mill Creek. You sent me the wrong stuff. Oh, thank you very much. That's so nice of you. I don't even know if I could legally keep it. And I went back to them and I said, oh, no problem. No problem. Happy to help. They, and they were like, if there's anything we could ever do for you, let us know. And I was like, oh, I've always wanted an Ichiro baseball. No problem. And again, Ichiro was an exclusive to Mill Creek at the time. And they sent me the baseball. And Upper Deck did a limited edition baseball like, again, Albert Pujols right there. And Albert Pujols at the time only did one signing a year, maybe two with the winter warm-up. But in January, he would sign in Kansas City to benefit, I want to say it was like an athletic facility. It was one twenty five a pop. And I, at the time, I really wasn't into private signings. I like getting everything in person. So I flew out for two days, and I got Albert Pujols' autograph. And when I was there, I got two of them. I'm going to show you the other one in a second. Right next to him, Juan Soto, yet another pandemic pickup. Uh, has the Fanatic sticker. I'm trying to think if it has any other. Yeah, there's an MLB sticker right there. Hopefully he does great things coming up in San Diego. I don't know. We'll see. Next to him, uh, full name Buster Posey. I actually have two Buster Posey autographs. I just have his regular one on a card I got in the minor leagues. This is obviously the nicer of the two. This I got right through the MLB website, which is now Legends. Yeah, there's you can see the MLB sticker right there. I thought it was unique that it had its full like Gerald D. Posey the third autograph. So I couldn't say no. Right above that, this is guy is tough. I mean, if you can Google him, I think he's the future Hall of Famer. But uh Zach Renke, I did not get this in person. The guy is just notoriously difficult about signing. You can see like the stories with him and Pat Nashik. It the guy just does not like to sign. He signed a few baseballs through MLB. Yeah, there's the MLB sticker. So, yeah, I was really excited when I saw him pop up at auction. It was $125. And I think it's like $125 well spent. Speaking of not like signing autographs, this is like a gorgeous Justin Verlander. I don't even want to pick him up because he guy does not like to sign. Anyone who knows, knows anyone knows this. This is like a pristine Justin Verlander autograph. I got him at the 2017 Tiger Fest. I got lucky in a sense. I got in the right line at the right time. My son and I both got him. We have two baseballs by him. One's in his room and this other one right here. Next to him, probably not a Hall of Famer, but he did the National a couple years ago. And I thought the guy never does shows. And that's uh, Jimmy Rollins. The Phillies all-time hit leader. I thought that was very interesting. So we'll see what he does. Next to him, this is full name Michael Nelson Trout autograph. Again, through MLB. This was... Still win. I think it was two hundred and ten dollars. I want to change my hand. My hand's getting tired. He still was full name, no extra cost. This ball right now, I think if you want him at the next signing, is seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, it was. I got two balls, believe it or not, at the signing. This one and another one, not a full name, but a regular name. Should have gotten more. My fault.
anyways, moving on. Next, Bill James. Again, when I went to the winter warm-up, uh, there was the Baseball Writers Association dinner in St. Louis. And they honored Bill James. I think Bill James will get in the Hall of Fame. I don't know what capacity. Maybe as it's no longer called the Spink Award, but whatever award they call it. Either that or maybe as a pioneer. I mean, the guy invented Sabre Metrics, for God's sakes. Uh, speaking of another who I think is a likely Hall of Famer, Joe West right here. I got him after a game at Comerica Park. What's tough about umpires is they don't now announce in advance where they're going to be before a series uh, for confidentiality reasons. And I saw he was at a game, and it was in the middle of the week in the summer, so I bought tickets right behind home plate. And I got him to sign. And after every game, he puts the number of games he actually umpired right after this. So you can see after the game, this that was his 5,282nd game. He will never inscribe that again because he's done more than that. Obviously, he's broken the record. Moving on. Terry, probably future Hall of Famer, manager of the year, Terry Francona. Uh, this was a private signing. Uh, I think the sticker is right there. I forgot who did it. Uh, they screwed up. With, uh, and they actually mailed me another autograph. The autograph was kind of faded. They apologized. They sent me a second autograph. So I think I have another Terry Francona sweet spot autograph somewhere. I think he'll get in the Hall of Fame. Speaking of another possible Hall of Famer, uh, Joe, Joe Maurer. Number one overall pick, catcher for the Twins, MVP. Again, another pandemic pickup, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's the MLB certified one. Uh, next to that is the other Albert Pujols I got. Now, again, this is, God, I got this autograph, I want to say almost 10 years ago when he was still putting the plus five. I just saw from his latest signing that he did, he stopped doing that plus five at the private signings. Uh, next to that, Jose Ramirez, I got this at, yeah, it was still TriFest. Now it's Guardian Fest, but it was TriFest at the time. This was after his rookie season. Probably the best player right now on the Guardians. Uh, and again, this was, I think, $40. It was a mystery lot you got, but you were guaranteed three autographs. And he just had potential, so I got him. Above that, uh, I would argue this guy could get in the Hall of Fame this year if he didn't just take the job for the Texas Rangers, and that's Bruce Bochy. I can understand him taking the job. I mean, I think he's still a sub-500 managerial record, but I still think he's going to be a future Hall of Famer next to that. Yet another pandemic pickup. These are like a lot of pandemic pickups, as you can tell. Garrett Cole. Yep, MLB certified autograph. You're not going to see as many as those now. Obviously, with Fanatics taking over the marketplace. I don't know if he's going to be at the Hall of Fame. I mean, he obviously, he had a steep drop since he went to the Yankees, but he's still a great player next to that. Second Miguel Cabrera autograph I ever got. This was from his first signing here. See, I was smart enough to know to use the 2000 the DC Sports. They put him on for free, the DC Sports stickers, because he was at DC Sports. Uh, it's a 2005 All-Star Baseball. He was on the team that then. I did not get it under the logo. I am not that smart. Yeah, the logo's back there. I am not that smart. Next to them should be a Hall of Famer, Kurt Schilling. That was from a TriStar special. I think it was a $50 TriStar special a while back. Uh, next to that, full Jose Acuna uh, name baseball. Let's see, Ronald Jose Acuna Blanco, I think so. I think this is a USA Sports. Yeah, it's a JSA first person authenticated. Uh, above that, my hand's getting tired, is Kenny Lofton. Uh, this is from one of the Nationals. That last time I was in Cleveland, he was there. I remember walking up to him and I said, Kenny, do you mind signing your first name? And I Googled what it was. He goes, no, man, I sign my autographs like I sign my paychecks. Here you go. And I'm like, oh, thanks, Kenny. So that's it. Next to that, Chris Bryant. Again, this is another a point special where uh, I paid points to the Chicago Cubs. And you got to go on the field before the game. And he was coming out with Rizzo. Rizzo went and signed for me and my son. My son was real cute back then. Uh, but Bryant had no problem with it. David Price, another points promotion. I think this still has MLB. Hold on, pull it down for a second here. It should be certified somewhere. Yep, there it is. MLB certified. Uh, I thought this guy was a Hall of Famer, at least Hall of Fame trajectory. I thought he was going to be a great player. I got him through a points promotion with a credit card. If you opened up a credit card, they were going to send you an autograph. You got the pick between David Price and Nolan Ryan. I know, I know what you're all thinking, but I already had Nolan Ryan. I didn't have Price, so I went for it. Next to that, this ball should probably be removed. Yet another pandemic pickup that went in the garbage. Should go in the garbage. And that is a Tatis full name, USA Marketing. That's his official supplier. Obviously, with the steroid bust, I think this guy is not going to make it. I didn't pay that much for it. Still pisses me off. 
Next to that, this is also from Tribe Fest, uh, Corey Kluber. This is it right after he won back-to-back -back Cy Young Award. So I thought, man, this guy's going to get into the Hall of Fame and get a sweet spot ball. Doesn't sign that much, obviously. <sighs> He's uh, just injuries have derailed his career. Above that, Bruce Fromming. Let me pull this down. This I mailed, literally mailed to his house. Uh, I thought outside shot at the Hall of Fame because he did over 5,000 games, 5,162 games. Uh, this 5,000 game, 816. Obviously, you could see that he, it, this smeared. It was a free autograph, though, if you went through the mail. So I thought, why not? Right next to that. Francisco Lindor. Uh, this autograph kind of pisses me off only because, again, another one from TriFest. I paid money to get in his line. And he would not sweet spot the autograph. He side paddled it. There's no one else on that ball. Uh, next to that, Shane Beaver, pandemic pickup. Uh, yeah, I thought he had a shot. Uh, right next to that is uh, Adrian. Is that, isn't that Beltre? I think that's Beltre. So, pandemic pickup. Again, pretty sure it has some kind of authentication. Yeah. So, and last but not least, Edwin and Carson, uh, yeah, with Edwin and Carson, uh, Encarnacion, I cannot pronounce his name. But again, I got him at Tribe Fest. I thought he was going to be a potential Hall of Famer because of the fact that he was at 400 home runs. I thought he had a shot at 500 at the time. Obviously, he has slowed down considerably, never made it. So if I scoot around, you can see there's a lot more here. I'll probably do videos on each one of these. But until then, as always, keep collecting.